Hi, good morning and welcome to today's product set in focus. As you'll be able to see there, the US 30 is continuing its, uh, its move up to 16.598, but it's paused there today. Potential support remains at 16.401. And with Twitter disappointing and eBay moving down, um, there's a little bit of a dulcet tone in some of the um, US markets there today. Twitter actually dropped 10% on a deteriorating picture, a lot less users, a lot less logon times. eBay actually beat estimates, but they gave a kind of a revised outlook for 2014, 2015 saying that competition was going to be strong. We don't have another bit of US uh, earnings until the 1st of May. We've got Exxon Mobile reporting. So it be interesting to see how things go. UK 100, however, is going great guns this morning. Uh, rechallenging potential resistance at 6774. Touched it yesterday, touching it again today. A break and close above that opens up the uh, road towards next potential resistance at 6874. So things that certainly look interesting there. And we do have, um, I think we've got Lloyd's on the 1st of May uh, and a, a raft of other uh, FTSE 250 companies reporting. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how things progress today, tomorrow and the next day. So UK 100 looking very good this morning. Looking at Japan 25, it's come down slightly as um, recent economic data there has actually disappointed. I think it's industrial production came out slightly less than expected, 0.3 versus 0.5. Uh, dollar yen is slowly creeping up. Which normally a, a weaker yen would be helping Japan to do five, but their, uh, the economic data is kind of weakening this in the short term. Um, so as you can see, this level's been uh, quite strategically important for some time. 14219 still in play is the level that uh, Japanese uh, index traders will want to look at. Looking at dollar yen, dollar yen uh, actually showing a bit of volatility this morning. You can see the long legged candle was indicative that this was much lower and is now trading a little bit, of bouncing around that 21 and 55 period SMA. Potential resistance remains at 102 spot 87, but we really need a break and close above this to rechallenge 103 spot 77. A little bit away from there right now. Crude oil West Texas continues to come down. Really ugly candle there yesterday. You can see it hit potential resistance at 103. Pushed all the way back down. It's lower again today as oil production increases in Libya. Uh, though from what I can see in the news, the Ukraine uh, crisis seems to continue to deteriorate uh, with pro-Russian supporters storming other government buildings across eastern Ukraine. But crude oil is not really having much of it this morning in the back of the fundamentals. And it is uh, crude oil Wednesday, of course. You do have the Oil inventories due later on today at 3.30 UK time. Gold, as ever, is drifting a little bit lower. A little bit of volatility around the strategically important 12.95. We're trading below it again today. The potential next potential support remains at 12.67. Today's close will be very interesting and will help pave the way directionally for gold for the next session. Um, looking at euro dollar to finish things up, uh, a little bit of weakness there yesterday. Well, actually a lot of weakness as uh, German data disappointed yesterday. Uh, and you can see we're bouncing around that 21 period and 55 period SMA. Next potential support 137.72. Cable, however, still trying to be uh, a bit more confident above 68.20. Hit one of the highest levels since 2009 uh, on Monday and has been unable to really show that, that, that next stage, that next leg up to help it challenge 170 spots. So, uh, well, sorry, one spot 70.42. We need a break and close above here, a really confident break and close before uh, we're going to see the next leg up. Otherwise, expect a drift down or a potential drift down, I should say. Economic data wise, there's tons. So we've already had the Japanese data. Uh, later on today, you've got German employment data. You've got uh, consumer price index flash data from Eurozone. You've got ADP private payrolls in the US at uh, 115. You've got US GDP at 130. Crude oil inventories at, at two, oh, sorry, at, th at three thirty. You've got Chicago Business Survey at two forty-five, and uh, then you've got the federal funds rate at seven p.m. UK time. So today there is so much uh, um, macro data out. Uh, it's bound to have some sort of impact in the market. So just bear that in mind. Keep your eye on the chart for loads of cool stuff going on there from our global analyst team, and make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.